Okay, everybody, good afternoon, and today, my name is Russell Bryant with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. I am a realtor, and I'm also the training administrator for our Native American group office. I wanted to start by saying thank you and welcome to our training, and to follow up as well and say um, I'm glad you uh, took the time today to watch this video. So today's video is actually going to be on Facebook for real estate agents. It's going to be a brief 45 minute video or maybe less depending on how much time it takes. But we're just basically going to hit on some of the things that I think are very important to everyone for Facebook in order to make it an effective use for your real estate. So we're going to start out and show you a few things that uh, most of you guys are probably familiar with. So everybody probably at this current point in time has a standard Facebook page. Basically that one Facebook page you created when Facebook first came out that you just use to talk about mostly yourself and then a little bit about your business. The problem that some people have when it comes to real estate agents is they've also blurred this completely about their business. So yes, while I do have a background that does say Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate, that is because I work for Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. So it is a part of my everyday life. Um, you know, this is an option for everyone. They don't have to use that. You can do whatever you want back here. But that's what mine is. Uh, you can change that regularly to stay you know, in front of people and, and get extra likes and things of that nature. But all in all, the gist of it is this is just to let people know that I'm Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate and um, it just keeps me in front of people. So in addition to this page, it's highly important that you have what we would call a fan page. And that fan page is where you're going to drive the majority of your business. And I do have a few fan pages actually, but uh, the one that I use regularly to promote myself and my business is actually this one which is VB Real Estate Pro so this is a Facebook fan page you can see there's a little different look here on the fan page it's going to show you your most recent post how many people they reached uh, it's going to give you options if you wanted to pay for an extra reach on that post or to boost that post um, and then also you can also compare to other pages that are similar to yours to see where you stand at in the rankings so the really cool thing about your fan page is this is where you're going to get the likes and you're going to link people back to you as a business. So typically on this page you want there to be about three business related postings to every one personal posting. Whereas on your standard Facebook page where you're promoting your personal page you want it to be about three personal posts to every one business post. You want to keep things relevant. You want to keep things fun. Posts that contain videos and pictures always get the most shareability and likability. A standard post sometimes may not get that large of a shareability. So, let's get started. With your Facebook business page, you can actually set up your standard post just like you would any other time. Uh, you just go to your status, type in whatever you'd like to share, and post it. Now in addition to that, once you've already got things posted, say for instance you had a really great article that was just doing really well and you wanted to uh, promote it a little bit better, you can actually go to the post right here and click on the little arrow, the drop down arrow, and you can highlight it. If you highlight it, it's going to actually make it a larger post. See, it takes up more space in your timeline. So it makes it a little bit easier for people to see when they're on your page. This is a great way to get a little extra out of something. You can also create a milestone or an event. Say you had a closing that day. That might be a great milestone or event. That's going to show up a little bit larger in your actual uh, post. Bigger than a highlight and show up as a larger event. Maybe you had a great new listing that you just got. Again, you want to post that under an event or a milestone. Uh, this is also where you'd like to offer if you wanted to do classes. Maybe for first time home buyers or things of that nature. Do that right here on your Facebook fan page and promote it. Make sure that everything is correct. Make sure your information is filled out completely. I also have mine linked into um, a back end site that actually will allow my clients to search for homes through PageMoto. So this is just a little link and they can go and search for foreclosures, luxury homes or townhomes or condos in and around our area and it will take them right in and link them into an MLX search, get their information and sign them up on my website. So this is a great way to kind of link people back. But if you're just looking at your standard page, you do want to see what's going on on a regular basis. You want to check out and see where your page ranks. You want to see what messages are reaching what people when it's reaching those people. So you can go to the See Insights tab right here and click that. 
Once you've clicked the See Insights tab, you can actually look at an overview of your account. As you can see, my total page likes right now are 240, and I'm up 10.1% from last week. Now, I've got 22 new page likes in the last week. Uh, my total reach is 278, down a little bit because I haven't been posting as much this week. But I reach on average about 156 people a week. My engagement from other people, I've got 58 people engaged, which is up a little bit. And you can see how that actually breaks down from clicks to shares to comments to likes. Now here you can see a breakdown of my five most recent posts and how they actually compared. So you can see that the majority of my posts are all organic because I haven't paid for any advertising in quite some time. But you can see the engagement on each single post that's there. So I've got a lot of sharing and a lot of engagement on the Home Association post picture. When we scroll down, you can compare up to five different pages that you would like to watch and compare yourself to. So right now, I'm currently looking at some of the other pages that have the most likes in our area and where they fall in the rank. Now, not only will it tell you where your page is, it will also show you where they're at. So you see some are down, some are up. Uh, some have great engagement, some have little to no engagement. And then you can compare yours across the board as well each time. So what I really like about this is that you can actually reach a little bit further and find out exactly in each of these links the breakdown. So by likes, by reach, by visits, by posts, and by people. People is very important, specifically if you're trying to see what your demographic is that you're reaching with your customers. So you can see about 60% of my fans um, are women. 39% of my fans are men. And then there's a breakdown of age there. So the majority of my fans are actually in the 25 to 34 uh, year old age group. Then it slowly starts to tick down uh, to the 35 to 45. And there's a split of actually women in the younger ages and uh, men at their older ages. Um, and then, of course, uh, I guess I've got some 13 to 17 year old women fans out there that I didn't know about. This also breaks down exactly where your fan base is coming from. So you see, you can even reach out into other countries and follow up there and see where exactly it's going to. I love that it breaks it down like this. You can see little bites of where you're going with your business. I mean, literally all the way down to who knew that I was touching people in Ross, Ohio. I don't even know where that's at. Um, so it's a great way to kind of follow up and make sure that you're doing your work and that people are enjoying it or not. If you go to your post, it gives you an actual breakdown and lets you see um, the times that most people were on as well. So this will help you kind of project when you'd like to make the majority of your posts. So you can see I've got a large base of clientele at 9 o'clock at night. Uh, actually, from about 9 to 9, I've got a, a nice base there. And it starts to dwindle off after 10 or 11. And then, of course, you get a little peak at in midnight, I guess, and some people just can't sleep. But out of all my posts that are published, here's a great way to kind of look and see where they're reaching people at, what posts people are liking. So this is a great way to make an idea of saying, okay, well, I see that, you know, if I just post a picture, sometimes that picture might get a little bit more shareability or virality where other things are not. So this is a great way to kind of look back and see and make sure that what you're doing is working for you. When it comes to your reach, this is how you see the, the people that have been reached by your post. Um... And as you can see here, you know, I've had a lot of reach over the course of the last uh, 10 days where the beginning of the month I didn't do a lot of posting, so I don't really have a whole lot going on there. You can see likes, comments, and shares. And then I've had no one report me as spam or unlike me, which that's great. That's what you want. Total likes, a total reach, I'm sorry. So you can kind of break it down really nicely and see exactly where you stand in the game. Um, and go right back to your page and kind of look around and see what's going on. You can promote your page and pay extra if you'd like, anywhere from $5 to $20 a day to try to build your clientele and your likes. And uh, that's a pay-per-click base, and you can actually tweak and reach out to exactly who you're looking for. This is an option of what the ad might look like if you were to do so. You can change that and move it around, make it however you want. These are previous events that I've held. This is a map of where I've been at. These are just photos that I've tagged in the uh, in the page itself. So the biggest thing that I like to do on a regular basis is to utilize my website to bring more business my way. And one of the ways that I do that is by simply going to my main website which is vbrealestatepro.com 
and I don't log in. Now, this site is available through Market Leader. Um, for those of you who are in real estate, if you're in with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate, you are given this site for free. You may not have the IDX search capabilities unless you pay extra for it, but at least it's there. You can pull things that are at least already listed within your own uh, brokerage. So for the sake of the game today, we're going to go and look through some of our actual uh, listings that are within our brokerage. And uh, we're going to try to uh, promote some of those listings. So let's pick one. Uh, let's take this one right here at Orchard Hill Lane. And I'm just going to familiarize myself with the property. So Orchard Hill Lane is obviously in the Hillcrest Landing Subdivision. And it's a Lansdowne High School property. Got a little information about schools right here. Okay. So we obviously know that it's in Virginia Beach. Um, and it is a five bedroom, three full bath home. So what I'm going to simply do here is I'm going to copy this link that's up here in my status bar. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to my Facebook page. I'm going to scroll down to my post. And I'm going to create an ad. So I'm going to say, do you have, let's say, need room for your growing family? This gorgeous. Five bedroom, three bath, brick home. Could be the one. And then I'm just going to paste in my link. I'm going to wait for Facebook to load the link up into my actual post. And I'm going to pick a picture. I don't like that back picture. That doesn't look as beautiful as the front picture. Let's see if we can find a front picture. Okay, we can't find a front picture. So, what we're going to do, that's a pretty picture. We'll keep that in there. Once we've got the picture we want, we're going to backspace out this link so that we look like we know what we're doing. Okay? And then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to post it. Then I'm going to go a step further and I'm going to highlight it so that it's a nice big post across. Okay? So need room for your growing family. It's gorgeous five bedroom, three bath. Brick home could be the one. Now, if someone comes to my page and clicks this link, it's going to take them right back to my website, driving traffic my way. After they click twice, it's going to give me, it's going to actually capture their information. And I'm going to be on my way to uh, getting myself a new lead, possibly, and working that lead. Now, back to the site itself. Just like the clients, when they click on two separate homes, the same thing will happen with you if you click on two separate homes. It's going to start to ask you for information. So be careful when you're clicking around. You don't want to go too far into the actual home. This one's a gorgeous one on uh, Estates Lane in Portsmouth. See, it's already doing it. So, But I know, because I've done this in the past, I can go ahead and still grab that link there and just backspace out. So um, I'll go here. I know that's a five-bedroom, three-bath home in Portsmouth and I'm going to go ahead this time I'm going to post on my regular page so I'm going to go back to my standard page my profile page that I use for regular Facebook my private page or personal page whatever you want to call it and go right here and go to use Facebook as Russell Bryant when that page loads up I'm going to go right here didn't mean to click that I apologize. Give me one second. I'll get out of there. Right here. Again, we're going to paste in that link. We're going to wait for it to load up. And then we're going to go to these pictures and find the one that we like. That backyard picture was kind of nice because a lot of people are looking for space. Okay. 
And then all we're simply going to do, you can actually schedule this right here if you'd like. Set it to go out later or earlier. Um, we're just going to post it right now. Okay. All right. So we're on our private page now, nicely posted. Okay. So the next step that I want to do is I want to actually look into this a little bit further. So say, for instance, we wanted to actually go and we were looking to find some buyers. You can actually click your Buy tab and let your Buy tab load up in your actual website. Go up here to the top again, and we're going to capture. Okay, and we're going to create an ad for buyers. So we're going to go right back into our personal page because we're reaching out to friends now. If you or someone you know are looking to buy a home, I would consider it an honor to be able to assist them. The market is heating up. And prices are starting to rise. Grab a beautiful home today before the interest. And I will say, wow, while interest rates. Are still low. We're going to paste in our link. We're going to wait for it to populate. Then we're going to backspace this out again. Okay, we can leave my picture there. Okay, and we can leave this here. Now, on Facebook, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but you can actually double click these highlighted areas and change it to say whatever you want it to say. Any of this can be moved around. So I don't know if you were aware of that or not, but you can change this verbiage to anything you want. So I want to proofread if you or someone you know are looking to buy a home. I would consider it an honor to be able to assist them. Market is heating up and prices are starting to rise. Grab a beautiful home today while interest rates are still low. All right, so we're going to post that up. All right. So we just created three ads over the course of really less than 10 minutes um, that we can use again and again and again and actually see if we can gain more profit off of that. You could also, if you're looking for sellers, you could do this seller one. Same thing, we're going to copy and paste the link in. Um, so we're going to do this one on our uh, fan page. Go in here. I'm going to go to use as our fan page. So my fan page is right there. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to scroll down to where I post that. I'm going to go right in my status bar. And I'm going to say... Real estate market is heating up. Find out what your home's value is worth today. Free report by visiting my site. Let me spell visiting right. I'm going to copy the link in. Load up the correct backspace to link out. I'm going to post it. So again, another great way to use Facebook for your business. So we worked on doing ads. Now one of the other great things you can do with Facebook is you can just promote yourself with pictures. You can take a great picture you can use Instagram or something of that nature right over top of the picture. You know, make sure that it's very um, uh, uh, exciting and something that people would like to share. And share that on your Facebook page. It could be as simple as you doing an open house. It could be as simple as you doing something great for your clients. It could be pop by gifts. It could be uh, a number of things that you find have helped you really work the real estate uh, sphere of influence better. It could be, um, you know... Um, a soft pull on, uh, or a soft touch on your uh, 
your friends to, to really get them to see if they're interested in possibly selling a home. It could be a promotion of yourself saying, you know, hey, I sold this home in less than uh, two weeks' time. Or um, my my team, if you're if you're a newly, newly licensed agent, you can always use your team stats because you're part of that team or that group um, to help make yourself look a little bit better. So if you're if you're uh, your team, for instance, like ours has, you know, two of the rookie of the years this year, that's a great plug. You know, I come from a team that has brought in two rookies of the year where we have been in a market where we haven't had any since 2008. That's a great um, you know publicity tool to use to help promote yourself and your business as a whole. So uh, with Better Homes and Gardens, you know I like to utilize some of the things from their page and share that to keep my page relevant. So all you simply do is just uh, you can go into another tab here and do a few different things. You can go directly to bhg.com, and when that loads up, you can actually just take some of the links from there that you see. Uh, or relative to your market, or relative to what your clients would enjoy. Uh, for instance, I mean, you know, decorating and home ideas. Well, this is something that everybody is always doing with their home. They're always trying to find a project. So we can pick plot projects, and we can just scroll down. There's a beautiful furniture project. So you could do a few different things. You could actually come into here if you'd like, and this is what I like to do sometimes because I think sometimes pictures are or more powerful than some of the other things. I think it's going to probably load up and ask me to subscribe to the magazine. It is, but we're just going to backspace right back to where we were. Okay, we're going to click that picture again. This time, we're going to save it. Okay, and then we're going to take the link. I'm going to copy that. So. The tab it has here is build your own furniture from scratch or remake an old piece with these furniture project ideas. So I'm going to go back to my page. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to add my photo. I'm going to upload it. I'm going to grab it right from the desktop where I saved it. And now I've got a nice big photo loading up. wait for that to load and then we're going to create some great little saying to go with that photo so while that's loading now we've got it loaded up so we're going to say great tips on repurposing old furniture pieces or creating new eclectic Obviously, I can't spell right today. Eclectic ones from scratch. Okay, then we're going to paste in our link. Now, this time, we're going to want to leave our link in here. Okay, because they're going to be able to click the link after they see the picture. So, we're just going to go ahead and post it. And you'll see once it propagates, they'll see the nice big picture. And then they have the link there. So if they click the link, it's going to take them to Better Homes and Gardens. So we're just instilling our brand, being exactly what we're called to be, which is supposed to be an, a lifestyle brand, showing people that we're more than just real estate agents. We can provide you with more than just information about homes. We can actually show you, um, you know, how to make that home more beautiful. So this is another great way to feed your clients something that's relevant, relevant and something that they can see. Uh, one of the great things that we just did recently was we did a pay it forward and we gave away free subscriptions, free one year subscriptions to the Better Homes and Gardens magazine. Now with our brand, we can actually send a branded, uh, agent specific branded magazine that, that on the front cover it says, this magazine has been brought to you by your agent or your realtor, whoever, whoever with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. But for those maybe outside of our market that we're not going to need to be touching like that or can't help with a home purchase, you can send them the unbranded magazine. $5.99 uh, to stay in front of someone for 12 months is probably the least expensive way that I can think um, that you can, you know, uh, help that help that client or help that potential client or even just stay in front of somebody. You know, maybe they refer you business uh, from another town or another city or another state. This is a great way for five ninety nine to just stay in front of that client. And you could simply just go and, and click the link, you know, save the picture. Maybe not the five ninety nine. They don't need to know how much you're paying for it. But just say, hey, you know, I'm giving away, um, I'm going to be giving away a free subscription 
of Better Homes and Gardens magazine to my 225th uh, fan. If you're trying to grow fans, or I'm going to be giving away uh, a new Better Homes and Gardens uh, Joy of Cooking to my 500th fan. You can create little things like this to bring people in and, and have them, uh, you know, be there with your business. Another important thing is to have people check into your business uh, when they come in and, and give, uh, you know, give some stars to your business if they like your business or what your business is doing on your Facebook business page. That's a great way to do that. Um, make sure that you set up all of your information correctly. You can update your page info right here and go in here and actually make sure that everything is correct. Um, you can also, uh, like I said before, pay for ads and build ads. Now, you can, as well as that, you can actually add your friends that you currently have um, by building your audience. Uh, you can invite email contacts from your your Gmail. If you have a Gmail account, it will actually link to that account. And it will go through them and actually pull them. Uh, you can also go through a constant contact account. Uh, you can go through, I mean, just about literally really anything. Um, but another great way to just grow your spear um, I don't know how well this is going to work, but we'll try it and see what happens. I've got a lot of contacts that will probably freeze, but we'll try it and see what goes on. Um, again, just another way to create a bigger buzz. Okay, so let's say we selected them all. Preview the invitation. I'm authorized to send emails. Let's just see. Oops. Let's just send it. I'm about to send a thousand invitations. Perfect. I don't know if it just sent them or not, but we're going to hope it did. I may have just sent it twice. Yep, I think we're okay. All right, so we just promoted our page. It's just that simple and easy. So, you know, this is exactly how you do it. You just work your page. You get more likes. You can promote your page here if you wanted to pay for it. From time to time, if you've got, you know, 20 bucks to spend that month extra and pr want to promote your page and get it out there, you can do just that, um, and you can promote it. Five bucks a day. You can run it for one day, two days, three days, a month, whatever you want to do. Um, it can be up to... Uh, $20 a day if you want to get more likes per day, um, but it'll put it in front of people that are looking for real estate and get you out there. Another great way to just, you know, promote your page. So um, these are just a few of the ideas that you can use to help make Facebook work for you. It's great when you see leads start to come in. You know, you can, uh, a great example of another lady that uh, did this extremely well. Uh, what was, let me see, I think it was 365 days of, what was her name? Oh my goodness, I just had her information the other day. Oh, I shared it. So let me go on my Facebook standard page and I'll be able to find her. And this this lady had an amazing, uh, I mean, she had over 10,000 followers on her fan page alone. I think it was called Front Porch. Let's see if we can find it real quick. Okay, I guess I posted it on my own, so I'm not going about this the right way. Let's look and see. Oh, I need to see only what I've posted. My goodness. I know it was a picture of a coffee cup. So, I know it's not too far down here. Now, that's an example of what I did with just an Instagram photo. You know, call me today to check out this Windsor Oaks Beauty. Just a great way to stay in front of people and be there. Okay, here's her page. It's right there. 365 Cranford West, New Jersey. So, 365. There it is. So, check out her page. So, again, she's got over 10,026 likes. She has her blog linked in. 
she has very relevant beautiful pictures here and what she does is just every single day she goes into her community posts up a nice picture gives a little background information about things to do in the community and focuses on a business so basically she's providing free publicity for the business and she's uh, gaining uh, base for lack of a better word she's gaining uh, the ability to be basically that city's go-to person for information so she's already in front of 10,000 people in a small town I think she said her town was only maybe 8,000 people in it I would say that she probably has a bit of presence there that if someone were looking to put a home for sale in that community she's gonna be the one they're gonna go to that's gonna be the one they're gonna look for so you see if she has open houses she posts those in there I mean she's really just I mean she only had 16 people like that but some of her comments, I mean, you've got 183 likes, uh, some of them, you know, 20 and 30 comments long. This is how you stay relevant. You can see she's tagging things. She's making it relevant. She's hashtagging things. She's really staying in front of her clients 24-7 and really spreading it easily. Here she got the 10,000 likes, I guess, just uh, on the 20th of February. And she sent out a thank you to everyone. So be in front of your customers. Be in front of your clients. Let them know that you are the local guru for whatever area you're working or whatever your niche is that you're working. And this is how you make Facebook work for you. I think so many people think that Facebook is just a place for you to just air all your dirty laundry. But we forget the fact that we're in this business to make sales. And the only way we can make sales is by marketing to people, being relevant to them, and looking like we are professional in the industry and in uh, the things that they're looking to get more information about. So I hope this has been an informative video. I hope it's helped some of you guys maybe better understand. I'm definitely open to any questions or concerns you have. And I have simply just grazed the surface of what you can do with this technology. I do like to use a few different um, products to help promote my page better so that I'm not sitting here and posting to Facebook all day long. And one of those things that I do use is a product by the name of Hootsuite. Um, Hootsuite is amazing. It will allow you to schedule uh, your your updates and your um, well not only your updates but it will allow you to schedule all of your relevant social media network posts at the same time so I can actually schedule uh, my Twitter post a Facebook post a fan page post and uh, and a Google Plus post at the same time right from here just pick where I want it to go and schedule it with this nice little scheduling tool it will also Excuse me. It will also auto schedule and send it out for the time of most optimal impact according to my networks. Um, so this is a great tool to use. I believe it's about eight bucks a month if you sign up for the pro package. Uh, the other package I believe gives you maybe three networks and it's free, um, but well worth every dollar you spend on it if you're going to be doing a lot of promotion. And that way you can see it kind of keeps on everything for you at one time. So. Hootsuite, H-O-O-T-S-U-I-T-E, is where you want to go for that. It's a great way to do it. So check out this chick's blog on three. Uh, check out this lady's fan page at 365 Things to Do in Cranford. You know the the best form of uh, of uh, what do they say? The best form of imitation is or, or imitation is the best form of flattery. So um, you know, take what you see working elsewhere. Surely this lady is not going to care. She is, uh, you know, in Cranford. New Jersey, you are not, and uh, use it and make it uh, amazing for you. Make your client base grow, stretch out your sphere of influence, and be that consummate professional in the midst of it all. I hope you uh, have learned a lot today. If you have any questions or concerns, you can please feel free to give me a call or text me at 757-748-4087, or you can also email me at russellbryant73 at gmail.com, or you can just subscribe to my uh Google, uh, sorry, my YouTube page and keep up to date with any videos and things I have going on or my Facebook page as well. I'd love the opportunity to be able to talk with any of you guys and uh, help you with any problems you may have. And other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and go out there and sell some houses. Thanks. Bye-bye.